Raindrops flow in April, flowers grow in April, we dance and play and sing as we celebrate the spring. Raindrops flow, flowers grow, we dance and play and sing as we celebrate spring in April raindrops flow in April flowers grow in April we dance and play and sing as we celebrate the spring as we celebrate the spring good morning boys and girls happy Tuesday Welcome back to school and welcome to the month of April. It's so nice to be back here again in English class. I really hope that you enjoyed your spring break. What did you guys do? Did you spend a lot of time outdoors? I really hope so. And if you didn't, don't worry because it's still springtime. There's plenty of time to be outdoors, chasing the butterflies, and enjoying the heat of the sun. I really hope that I can get to spend more time with you in school very soon, because I miss you so much. The Artist in Me Before we took a break, we talked about different forms of art and we saw paintings and sculptures done by famous artists. Today, we are going to talk about another form of art and this is something truly entertaining. It's called theater arts. is a place where people go to see a play or other performances. The words theater arts can mean everything that is used to make a live show that tells a story and there is an audience. Let's learn more about theater arts. What is theater? Your first thought might be isn't that the place where I watch movies, like Cinemax and Cinepolis? That's one kind of theater, but when we talk about theater arts, we mean so much more than that. Theater is telling a story live for an audience. The three things to remember are live, story, and audience. A story means that there are characters and we watch things happen to them. The story might be about a princess falling in love with a prince or a brave hero fighting a bad guy. There can be so many different kinds of stories. Every theater has an audience. They are the ones who watches the play. Being live is what makes theater different from a movie. The audience is right there watching the actors perform on stage. Remember,
theater is showing a story live for an audience. The most common form of theater is called a drama or a play. A drama is a story that is acted out for an audience. They include musicals, operas, puppet shows, circuses, ballets, and other dance performances. It's story time! Macy goes to a show. Today, Macy and her friends are going to the theater. The name of the show is Funny Feathers, and the star is Flora Fantastica. Inside, everyone lines up to show their tickets. Macy is very excited. Tickets, please! Macy picks up a special program all about the show. It has wonderful pictures in it. Theater! They walk into the main theater and find their seats. Here they are! Macy and her friends are in the very front row. Everyone sits down as the music starts playing. The show is about to begin! Shh! Says Eddie. The audience is very quiet as the curtain goes up. Flora flies onto the stage. Hello, everyone. She says. Shout funny feathers if you're excited about the show. Funny feathers! Everyone shouts. Tallulah is the loudest. In the play, Flora lives in the jungle. She dreams of being a star in the big city. I'll come with you, says Barry Baboon. Chula and Pedro join in. Cock a doodle doo! Let's go too! Follow me! I know the way! calls Larry Lion. Between the scenes, special helpers came out onto the stage. They roll the jungle trees away. Here comes the big city! Flora sings a funny song, then the curtain comes down. Now it's time for the intermission. Macy and Cyril go to the bathroom. Charlie buys lots of yummy snacks to share. Soon a bell rings. Ding, ding. Time to go back to our seats, says Eddie. The curtain rises and the show starts again. Everyone is having fun singing in the big city. We love fluffy, funny feathers. After some adventures in the city, Flora and her friends decide to go home to their beautiful jungle. The show ends with a sing-along song and then the actors wave goodbye. Everyone cheers very loudly. Woohoo! Bravo! Hooray! They all stand up and clap, and then it is time to go home. Clap, clap, clap! Macy and her friends walk home together. They're still singing the song from the show. What a wonderful trip to the theater! We love fluffy, funny feathers. Do, 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 do. The end. When there is a performance inside a theater, the audience is expected to behave really well. Let's take a look at how we, as the audience, should behave inside a theater. Welcome to the theater. It's almost time to take your seats. Here are some quick tips to help make your theater experience go well. No talking during the show. Please stay off your cell phones. Shoes? Oh, hang on, I'm getting full. Okay. Hello? No, we're in the show, silly! <laughs> 
and no photography. Don't be a beast. And please, don't be annoying. This is unacceptable! This is not theater etiquette! I will teach you about theater etiquette and this is not it! Don't bring food into the theater or it may be taken away. Behaving at the theater is easy. Just be polite to the performers and those around you. And do laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and clap for the parts that you like. We'll see you soon. Don't be late and enjoy the show. Yeah. Yes! C'est bien les filles! C'est bien les filles! C'est très bon! C'est très bon! Now that we learn that a play or a drama is performed inside a theater and that the audience should behave a certain way while they're watching a performance, it's now time for us to see how actors prepare for a play. The singing is dancing You are walking on very hot sand. Ouch, 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 Okay, they're looking everywhere in the castle. Ready? Looking, looking everywhere in the ocean. Keep looking. And then over the side of it, Pink Supergirl says, What do you see? I see the candy. Put to where it is. Where is it? <gasps> quick, 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 quick. <gasps> and then Spider Goose says, Oh, yeah. But look at it. There's a note on it. Who's the note from? Disney character or any character you've seen or read. Did you know that most probably this character, your favorite character, has already appeared on stage? Let's take a look at a stage play of a very famous fairy tale called Beauty and the Beast. Wildest imagination could have dreamed. But through a series of strange circumstances, she found herself held captive inside a dark and foreboding castle, inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what you're up to. Well, we don't have to tell him, do we? There is nothing to worry about. No, nothing. Just our entire future. Oh, pish posh. Be our guest for dinner. We'll keep it simple. Esteemed madames and messieurs, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you. And now, we invite you to relax, pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... Your dinner. Stare at the bears, don't prepare. No one's moving or complaining while the flowers in. 
it's anything but a monster! <laughs> To understand, Master, the poor girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. For our fun activity, you are going to become your favorite character and you're going to act on stage as if you're an actor, just like Mia in this video. Yeah, if I could be anything, I'd be an actor. Hi, I'm Mia. If I could be anything, I would be an actor. I would play all sorts of different roles. Sometimes I would be funny and make everyone laugh. And sometimes I would be super dramatic. And I would be in plays with huge audiences. Where everyone wears fancy costumes and funny hairdos. Sometimes I would act as a superhero! Look, I'm flying! Whoosh! It's great to pretend. Giddy up! I would ride across the wild west, looking for secret treasure. It was so much fun learning about theater arts and what happens inside a theater. When I see you on Thursday, we are going to talk more about theater arts. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.